Hello and welcome back to Kim's Beauty Basics. I'm Kim and today I have a review of a couple concealer products um, from Benefit that all come packaged together. So I'm going to take a look um, and try a few of the products out. I'm not wearing any concealer currently so I just need a little bit of help here. I'm going to contour a bit with the uh, concealer and see the different consistencies of the different products that you get in the one package. This package is really cute. Um, it's like a back to school pencil case kind of thing. So I'm excited to get into this and then actually use it for other things. Um, so we'll see how that goes, see if it's worth your money. And yeah, we'll talk all about it. If you'd like to see the review, just keep on watching. And if you end up liking this video, feel free to like it down below and also um, feel free to watch my other videos. I've just started on YouTube but I do have a couple videos for you to watch and if you uh, do end up enjoying my channel uh, feel free to subscribe. I would really appreciate it um, and I would love to um, show you more of my content. So that's all for me and we will get right into the review now. All right so we are reviewing this Boing by Benefit um, Erase Case. Um, it's really cute packaging. So this is the packaging. It comes in this little box here. This is the front of the package. And this is the back of the package here that has all the different uh, explanations for the different concealers that are in there and then a short uh, description. Boing concealers hide lots of little problems. Whether you want to cover up, airbrush, brighten, or hydrate, we have the correct answer to your concealing dilemma. It looks like I have the shade number one here. So hopefully it's not too light, but we'll see. Super cute, this is the packaging here. The Benefit Boing Erase Case um, is retailing for $35 uh, Canadian and $26 US currently in Sephora. And it looks like there's either shade one or shade two. So not too many uh, varieties there. So hopefully one is okay. And each of the four products contains 0 0.05 ounces or 1.5 milliliters. Um, of each of the concealers. So at Sephora it's rated 4.5 out of 5 stars and a lot of people seem to like it. Looks like they just uh, they like that they can try a bunch of different concealers in one. The negative reviews that I'm seeing are people saying that it didn't work for their skin tone, that it was too pink toned for their olive skin tone, and then someone else said it made them break out. Alright, so getting into it, I'm going to open up the pencil. The instructions are like the little like notepad booklet and then it gives you some easy uh, quick instructions. Um, and so then the concealers are in a package like this. All four are here. Um, they definitely aren't that big because it's 0 0.05 ounces. So just keep that in mind, but you do get to try four different concealers. So that is a bonus of that. Okay, so first I have the Hydrating Concealer. The Hydrating Concealer looks like an eraser. The outside is like a balm or um, like serum, solid serum, and then the inside has the concealer part in the center there. All right, so next I have the Boing Industrial Strength Concealer. And this is what the packaging looks like on the Industrial Strength Concealer. All right, so next I have the airbrush concealer here. So this is the airbrush concealer here. It's just in a cute little pink package. So last but not least, we have the brightening concealer. So this is the container for the brightening concealer here. So here are the four swatches. This is the hydrating concealer, the industrial strength concealer, the airbrush concealer, and then finally the brightening concealer. Those are the four swatches. These three are definitely a little bit more pinky, these two being a little bit more white, and then this one has a little bit of sheen to it, but it's still pinky, and then this one's a little bit more of a yellow undertone. Let's uh, test some of these out. So I'm gonna do the hydrating concealer on one eye, and then I'm gonna do the airbrush concealer on one eye, and then both on either one of the other, I'm gonna put the industrial strength and then the brightening concealer so we can get an idea of how they layer. I don't have any concealer on currently, just my foundation. We're gonna go in with this um, hydrating concealer. It definitely is really creamy. I have this bourgeois um, beauty blender type idea or beauty sponge. Um, it has a little bit of like a fine point at the end, so it's good for concealer. I'm really getting under the under eye here. So that blended out pretty easily. Um, it is a little bit light for me. Um, it definitely brightened up a little bit and um, 
it doesn't look too bad. Let's do the airbrush concealer, which is also a uh, like soft, creamy texture. And we will do that on this eye here. This one's the balmy, like one that's a little bit bigger. Go in with my finger. That looks okay. I would say I like the hydrating concealer side a little bit. I don't feel like I didn't get as much um, coverage um, with the airbrush concealer there. Let's go to the big guns now. Let's do the industrial strength concealer, which is the most, which is uh, one of the full coverage ones and along with the brightening concealer, which we'll use on the other eye. So this is the industrial strength. And again, these are all in the shade number one. I'm gonna go in and dab. And then I'm just gonna blend out a little bit with the, the sponge. So that definitely provided a little bit more coverage and I like that it, uh, it feels more matte as well. So that's good. And we're gonna go in with our last concealer, which is the brightening concealer on this eye, layering over the airbrush concealer, which didn't provide too much coverage there. So let's go in with this brightening one here. And I'm gonna blend that out as well. All right, so that's in there. So I'm also going to apply the hydrating concealer because I like that the best or like lighter coverage but a little bit of brightening. I'm going to apply that down the bridge of my nose and also on my forehead, upper lip, and a little bit on my chin. So I'll bring that there. And I'm going to use that same sponge but on the duller side. And just going down and blending that all in. Trying not to mess my lips up. Blend my forehead out. So I just went ahead and applied um, some setting powder, or actually like highlight powder. It's from my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Don't mind the mess. Um, just with the yellow uh, shade, which I don't think is still on my palette because it's just so old. But basically there's either a yellow or a peachy, pinky uh, highlight, matte highlight shade. And I just used the yellow toned one and I just set using the sponge and just applying it underneath the eyes, forehead and down the bridge of the nose and here and here. And then I went and then just um, brushed off the excess after it baked for like not that long, I don't bake for that long, but just to warm up, get into the skin, and then I brushed it away. So everything applied as normal on top of the concealer. So final thought, so I think it's a really great set, the Boing Erase Case. Um, can you beat this packaging? It's so cute. I like that you get four different products to try. However, if you've already used Benefit concealers, then you probably already have a favorite, and so I would say stick to that. Um, testing out these other ones, I wasn't sure if, like how many of these I would actually use in day-to-day -day life. I think I would use the hydrating concealer and then the brightening concealer combo that I did on this eye. The other eye I felt like was a little bit too pinky undertone for me. I am a medium skin tone with yellow undertones. I'm about an NC35 in MAC if that gives you any help. Um, I'm a Shinto 2 in RCMA and then in uh, Tarte Cosmetics Too, uh, Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation, I'm the shade Natural Beige, I believe. Is it worth it to just get two out of four in a very small quantity and then have two concealers that I'm not really going to use? Mm. I can try to use the other concealers for um, eye looks. I don't know if I'd recommend, if, unless you're like totally in love with the packaging, for you to run out and get it, but it is um, a really cute product. It's a nice gift as well, especially for someone in school or... Um, yeah, just a really cute little gift, I would say. Thoughts on that are kind of mixed. If you are looking for concealer or you're in the market or you already like maybe one of the Benefit concealers and you want to try the other ones, this is a great way to do it. But I would say if you are more of a yellowy undertone or olive skin tone, it might be a little bit too pinky for you. So that's the shade one anyway that I have. Shade two might be a little bit um, more for deeper skin tones or for uh, more yellow olive tones um, 
skin tone, so I'm not sure, but just based on the shade one that I do have, I'm mixed reviews on that on my skin tone. Hopefully you learned a little bit from the review and you can make an informed decision on whether you want to purchase it or not. Um, if you did enjoy this review, please like it down below. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. Um, and also I would love to hear from you. So if you've tried any of the concealers or you have a favorite concealer, let me know. Again, if you enjoyed this review and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe, hit that little bell icon to get notifications for when I post because it's a little bit sporadic because I am in school. I do work on the weekends, so I just try to get this done in between. If you want to follow me on social media, I'll put the links um, down below, but I'll have the icons right here so you can see them. But if you want to just click down below, it'll lead you right there and you you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. Put the links down below so you can just clink up, click them, clink them. So yeah, I'll put the Twitter, the hand Twitter, 